We're here at GIST 2023 with Eddie Doyle, security strategist at Checkpoint. Eddie, thank you so much for joining us. It's a pleasure. Um, I'd like to start by asking, where have you seen federal agencies implement innovative data-driven strategies to improve citizen services? Yeah, I think it's in partnership with vendors such as mine in the community. So as an example, what we're trying to do is we're trying to give students who are taking current cybersecurity courses, so any student taking a cybersecurity course in the United States at any university, what we're doing is we're actually sponsoring so we can provide a certification training to those students. So they come out of university not just with their undergraduate degree, but they come out with real-world certification so that they can be snapped up by employers who are currently searching for 800,000 the cybersecurity skill sets in the United States alone. So we're giving them that, and then that gives them access and um, confidence on real world tools, not just uh, academically. Well, we all need the, more of those kinds of talented folks to get into the yeah, system, right? We're helping. And then next, um, you know, uh, where have you seen the, the federal agencies implement, um, again, innovative data driven strategies to optimize operations? Yeah, well, this is where we come into the machine learning and artificial intelligence. Um, I used to give a quip with artificial intelligence that it's not, because it's not intelligent yet. It's just ones and zeros, so it's machine learning. Chat GPT is actually still ones and zeros, but it's really cool. And so I have to relinquish that argument and say that now artificial intelligence is looking at, let's say, for example, the 100 billion indicators of compromise that we have in our database. And it is attempting to put together a picture of new malware. So we would have seen combinations of previous malware in, in billions of different forms in our history. So we have this database and we are now using machines to tell us if a new piece of software is coming across the pipe but it looks like a piece of malware and within less than a 1% degree of accuracy we're getting it right. So machine learning is uh, going to help us out here with this massive volumes of data. Well, Eddie Doyle, thank you so much for sharing some of your thoughts with us here okay, at the GIST cool. 2023. Yeah, good luck.